Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our program brought to you by Tenova Healthcare. Tenova.com is where you can learn more. They uh, tell you a lot about their emergency room facilities, and I actually used them. A few years ago, I uh, somehow tore my quad, half tore it, and I didn't know what the heck I'd done. I blow my knee out. Why is my leg not working? So I quickly made it to Tenova North, which is where I live, and I was in and out of the ER. They had me wrapped up, taken care of, and ready to go. I say nothing but good things about Tanova because I've experienced nothing but good things with Tanova. Learn more, Tanova.com. All right, back with Chuck Cavalleras. Look where you're sitting. <laughs> In the Bob Hodge seat. That's right. We got uh, Jimmy, Josh, Mike down there. Uh, still to come, what's on John Curry's agenda? And are, are, is Tennessee taking it easy on Butch Jones? That was a story that came out. We'll discuss. We'll tell you more about that. Uh, but first, Butch coming off a 9-4 and four season and a bowl win, but it was a disappointing season. There's no question. I mean, that's not the worst season ever as some act. It's also not, not reason for mass celebrations as some others act. Uh, he made a number of changes to his coaching staff. You got some people upset. It's a big year. How big is this spring for Butch Jones? And part of that's going to depend on how big you think this year is for Butch Jones. If you think this could be he, he's got to win or he's out, it's a pretty big spring. If you're thinking, barring a natural disaster, he'll be back for a year six, then it might not be so big. Your thoughts? How big is this, Chuck? I think you're close to the edge of looking over make or break. I mean, I, I really do, and, I, and I'll tell you why. I think it's that way as far as spring practice, getting a new quarterback, getting all of the assistant coaches acclimated, but I think it's also off the field with Coach Jones in terms of how he handles the press conferences, uh, whether he keeps using some of the same cliches that seem to turn off fans. So I'm, I'm not really going to say make or break, but I'm going to say, boy, it's, it's pretty close to that. Uh, to me, I don't judge a guy on the cliches, but I know there are people out there who will, and that ain't changing. He's going to continue to do this. He used cliches if you win the SEC. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's huge. I, I really yeah. do. I think it's a big year. Look, if he – if he doesn't win the East, that'd be five years in a row. You, you were favored to win it last year. You could have won it two years in a row. And I think people are getting impatient with the football program. It's been a long time since Tennessee not only won the SEC, it's been a long time since they won the East Division. So I think it's a really big year for Bush Jones. And with the new athletic director, as we all know, a lot of times athletic directors like to bring in their own guy. And that's why I think that puts a little bit more pressure on Bush Jones. And any equity that Butch Jones had built up with Dave Hart, <coughs> gone. That doesn't exist with new guy coming in there and John Curry. Mm -hmm. uh, Josh and Mike, how big is this spring? Well, I think it's big because I think it's uh, a time to start figuring out with personnel, recruiting, development, how is that, how's that gone over the last couple of years? Because a lot of big-name players are leaving from the last couple of seasons. So that 2015 class was led by Khalil McKenzie. You had some five-star players in there with a lot of expectations. Of course, the quarterback battle. But how have those guys developed? Because you have a new era, I think, of players that have to lead Tennessee. Exactly. That was going to be my point. I think anytime you change quarterbacks uh, and going with unproven guys at quarterback, you got to find a quarterback. It's a, it's a big spring. Then you throw in all, all the staff changes uh, on top of that, and just there's a lot of chemistry issues, and a lot of a lot of these new coaches all say everybody's got a fresh start, want to sort it out, clean slate. So it's a big spring. How concerned are you, anybody about the coaching staff turnover? Is, is anybody here saying? You've turned it over so much. I'm worried they could. Are they going to get off on the right foot day one of spring practice if they've never gone through it as a group before? Is that a concern? Uh, it is to me. Uh, now, I, I don't know this for a fact, but I think this is the reason they've started spring later than they usually do, uh, because they wanted all the assistant coaches to get on the same page and all the terminology and all the adjustment before they started. So they're going four weeks in a row, and they haven't done that in a long time. Usually, there's spring break in between. But I think they're. Uh, can be uh, concerns about the chemistry of a staff. And so, yeah, I do think it's a concern. Yeah. I, th I think, personally, I think those concerns are outweighed by the fact that I think you improved the staff and, and you're going to, you On know, paper, yeah. Yeah, so, so I think that outweighs the concerns, but I understand what Jimmy's saying. Uh, and I would just say this, we we're talking about having to find a new quarterback. Uh, the interesting thing, if you look at it, the number one running back from a year ago is going to be different from whoever the number one running back is this year. The number one receiver going into spring last year will be new this year. Pass rusher, linebacker, cornerback. Yeah, look how many. So, I mean, that's, you're going to have a new number one at about six of your most important slots on the field that you have to find, and you got a month to find them with a bunch of new coaches. I think it's huge. Well, huge I, and numbers. I agree. But one thing, you know, Larry Scott 
that you did give the chance to be the offensive coordinator has ties to a lot of these coaches on offense. And uh, several of them have experience as offensive coordinators. And uh, that's what I think helps, like Mike Strange was saying, mitigate some of that. But yes, it is a concern. And it'll especially be a concern once you get in the game. He also has the benefit of having been here for one year. If you'd gone mm -hmm. out and brought in an outside offensive right. coordinator, your, your OC on top of everybody else wouldn't have a view, wouldn't have any working knowledge of who these guys are and what they can do. He at least has some knowledge of that. All right, when we come back, John Curry's agenda. What's it going to be? What's on the list first? We'll show you what we think next on the Sports Source.